Hey everyone, it's Jonathan Allen here from Camp RV in Stratford, Ontario. I'm here on a uh, pretty cold, windy day here in January. But I got another special treat for you. Brand new floor plan arrived today. 2018 Columbus Compass Series 378 MB. So this one is a retake on their 377 mid bunk and they've redesigned it a bit and they added an outside kitchen. So I'm going to give you a nice walk through here today, show you all the features and then we'll head inside and we can check out the interior. Uh, so first of all, you'll notice all the new decals for the new model year. This is a 2018 model, so they've redesigned the front cap. You can see all the decals are nice and fresh, new look to them. LED light strip down below. You got storage down below. That's where the battery boxes are. We ordered this one with a six point hydraulic auto level system as well, so the hydraulic fluid is in there in the pumps. You can see, nice big open storage area. And then pre-wired for a portable solar panel, which is right on the front. The switches on the front are for the LED light strip on the front cap, as well as the interior light on the storage compartment there. This one does have four slide outs, so there's one on the door side, and there's three on the off door side. And you'll be able to see them all from the inside, but one in the bedroom, one in the middle bunk room, and then there's two in the rear living room, one on each side. The Compass series do come with two 30 pound propane tanks. Oh, it's a bit frozen here today. So a 30 pounder there, and then there's one on the other side as well. As I mentioned, we ordered this one with that six point hydraulic auto level. So you got your control panel for it right here with the instructions right here. Very easy to use. You can see nice big open storage compartment. There's LED lights in there as well. And then this is where the convenience center is, so all your hookups. So in here you got your water hookup, uh, it's got your water filtration system, outside shower slash spray port, uh, also the valves for your black and gray water, uh, the water heater bypass, every, everything is centrally located right in here, as well as the black tank flusher. So everything will come up through the bottom, all your hoses and everything come up through there. Then slam latch doors, so they just slam shut. And everything's a bit frozen here today. We just had a flash freeze, so may not close properly, but try our best here. Uh, you can see it does have aluminum wheels. Give you a good look from the outside here. 50 amp connection, because we did order this one with two air conditioners. And even if you order it with one, it does come with 50 amp AC, just because it is, or sorry, 50 amp connection, because it is prepped for a second AC. Uh, we ordered this one with the backup camera, so it comes with the screen that goes in your vehicle and you can see what's behind you at all times. It's got the roof ladder, LED tail lights on the back. Now this one's got two power awnings, one on the slide out and one in front of the slide out. As I mentioned, they redesigned this one and it's got the outside kitchen on it. Open this up here, you can see it's got gas shock arms that hold that open. And you got a fridge, a microwave, and there's a pull-out stove top here. Two burner stove. There's LED lights in the kitchen. So you can see what you're doing if it's nighttime. The strap just holds that stove into place during transit. As you can see, you got a little bit of counter and prep space there as well. The fridge is an electric fridge, so just like a regular most people call them a beer fridge. And then again, slam latch door on there, but then there's a couple latches on the side as well. Now the power awnings. Uh, so just touch a button in and out, you got LED lights on them, and then they're metal wrapped awnings. I know it's tough to see because I got them open, but you can see right at the base of the awning where it connects to the trailer, it does have a metal protector. So it just protects the awning when it's closed, nothing's gonna scrape it or scratch it or rip it. And then same thing on this awning. Touch of a button in and out. It's got the LED lights built in and it's wrapped in metal. You got outdoor speakers over here. As I mentioned, the 30 pound propane tanks, so your other 30 pounders on this side here. And then the storage compartment. They use magnets to hold the door open, so you can see you got a magnet there and one up top. Just push the door up and the magnets will hold that in place for you. 
It gives you access to your storage underneath. So we saw it from the other side. This just gives you another good look. And then over here, it does have central vac, which I'll show you inside, but that's where you empty it. Outside TV hookup. There's an outside stereo, which is separate from your inside stereo. So it's AM, FM, CD, and Bluetooth. And then down there, you got your battery disconnect switch. And again, slam latch doors. Again, they're a little frozen right now, but they just slam shut. Uh, this has also got the new set of stairs. Now, first of all, I will mention, as I mentioned, the six-point auto level. So you got two at the front, two in the middle, and then there's two at the back. So you can see the jack behind the tire there. You can see the aluminum wheels here, nitro filled tires, entry assist handle beside the door, keyless entry, so uh, you can not have to carry your keys with you, you just set your code and then punch it in to unlock and lock. And LED lights right underneath the stairs, so with the new set of stairs, you open up your door here, you got the more ride step, folds right down. Next to no weight to them, they are aluminum. And then they're on a spring system, so the spring will actually hold them in place. That spring system's just beside the door there. And then it opens right up, and then you got the LED lights right behind that Columbus sign. So at night, it gives you a really nice, cool look. You can see four stair aluminum steps. We got a friction hinge door, so the door will stay in place. And then you got the screen door that separates, and you can just use your screen. Built-in spring on the plastic cover as well. It'll just reconnect right back to your main door. We'll head inside. She's a little chilly out here, so sorry if I rushed us through. I want to stay as warm as I can today. I'm just going to pop my shoes off. All right, so first thing I'll show you, coat closet right inside the door. Spot where you can hang your jackets. And then the control panel, so everything's centrally located right here. Your slide controls, awning controls, all the lights. And also you can see the water heater, the tank heaters, because they do have heated holding tanks for gray and black and fresh water. Uh, but everything's centrally located right here. So nice thing is, if kids like to hit buttons to put slides in and out, it's in a cabinet out of the way so it's kind of hidden. And then here we've got the tablet which from here you can control your auto level jacks as well as control your manuals and everything so if you forget how something works you can always check the manuals and then there is an app you can get for your phone so you can do this with your smartphone as well but you'll notice the nice big open living area again that's with the opposing slides so you've got your freestanding table and chairs so there's two residential style chairs and then there's two extra chairs that are in the closet up front but with the table there is an extension on it Give yourself some extra room and then with the chairs there is storage inside of the seats as well you can see nice big windows lots of natural light you got day night shades on all the windows all the way around led interior lights all the way around as well so nice and bright and they use very little power they're very energy efficient tri-fold high to bed sofa at the back you can see nice big window over top and then overhead cabinets above it you got the reclining theater seating in the slide out again windows and overhead cabinets right across from that is your entertainment cabinet so behind that entertainment cabinet is that outside kitchen but you get the fireplace you got the blu-ray dvd player and then the sound bar which is am fm and there's built-in bluetooth and usb and auxiliary right on it and then the nice big 50 inch tv cool feature too you can see there's a button here you hit that that opens up for all storage in behind the TV. It was always wasted space before, but now they give you all that open space for storage. Has the island, so with the opposing slides you get the kitchen island. You got the solid surface countertops. You can see you got storage down below. Trash can, trash can location underneath the sink. And then with the faucet, it's a high-rise faucet, pull-out sprayer. Everything, again, everything's a little frozen right now. And then you got the 60-40 split double sinks on your mountain. We ordered this one with the four-door fridge, 18 cubic foot, propane and electric. Freezer up top, fridge down below, lots of room. 
Inside the fridge you've got the three burner stove with the flush mount glass stove cover. It's got the oven down below, storage drawer underneath the oven, built in microwave above it, and again overhead cabinets above. They just added the, uh, the Columbus sign up above the door with the ship lap behind, just gives it a really nice sharp look. We ordered this one with the kitchen uh, Max Air fan with the uh, rain hood cover. So it comes with a remote control. The remote control will just mount right on this holder here and then you can open and close it with touch of a button. Turn it on and off with touch of a button as well. And then pantry storage. And then the middle bunk room. So cool feature, they've changed the hinge style. You can see how they're hinged and how they swing open now. A little bit different. But with that middle bunk room, very similar to 377 that they built, which they do still build. You can see you got storage cabinets. And then you've got your bunk above and then the trifold sofa below. Now the top bunk will fold up and lock in place. So then if uh, people in here just want to sit down on the couch and watch TV, you're not going to hit your head. And then that bunk just folds right back down. So you can have your, this on the bottom will pull out to about a double size bed and then you got the single bunk above it. Each bunk does have its own light, and the top bunk gets a window. And then you can close the door off and full privacy. You'll notice that the flooring, it's the tile look linoleum, all one piece. You can see we got the fireplace down below, and that fireplace you can use for heat or just for show. Right now I do have the heater going, so it's giving us a little bit of warmth in here. Making our way up the stairs here. Oh, forgot to turn on a light here. We got one in the corner. You can see USB plugs for charging, so a great spot where you can plug in your phones. You got 110 and USB chargers there. Uh, as I mentioned, it does have the central vac. So down there, you, it comes with the connections to plug the vacuum in, but then you've also just got the sweeper. So you can just lift that up and sweep the dirt right into it. Wood treads on the stairs. You can see you got a nice railing to go up and down the stairs as well. So and then the built-in ladder here. That gives you access to your bunk, which is above. So this is the middle bunk room and you get the bunk above. Nice big bunk. You could probably fit, depending on the size of the kids, probably four or five kids up here. TV hookup and a backer where you can mount the TV. There's a roof vent above. And then there's a window there as well. And you can see there's storage at the head of the bed. And then there's two LED lights there as well. Nice big windows in the hallway. The bathroom's fully enclosed on the side. So it's got the porcelain foot flush toilet. You can see there's a vanity with storage. And then there's a nice big medicine cabinet above. Roof vent with a built in fan. Then you can see nice big shower with the seat and the frosted glass sliding doors. And then full shower surround and the skylight above. And I'm six foot one and tons and tons of headspace here, lots of room for maneuvering. You got storage right beside the toilet there. And again, all the linoleum floor up here. The only place that you've got the carpet is in the bedroom. So queen walk around bed. We ordered this one with the upgraded Serta Destination Series mattress. So you can see nice big pillow top, residential quality mattress. There is storage underneath the bed as well. Bed lifts up, give you some extra storage. You can see we got all the pieces and miscellaneous parts sitting underneath the bed there as well. All the welded aluminum framing you can see and the gas shock arms that'll hold that bed open. This is available with a king bed. We ordered them with the queen, but it can be ordered with a king. You can see you got a window on each side. There's little reading lights on each side. Nice big window in the bedroom over here. And then you got your dresser. And then there's a TV backer in the wall above that with TV hookup, so you can have a TV in the bedroom as well. As I mentioned, we ordered this one with two ACs, so it's a low profile bedroom AC. This has got what they call the quiet cool technology, so you'll notice you don't actually see an air conditioner in here. And I didn't point it out in the living area, but you won't see one there either. So it actually a lot quieter when you got your ACs running, and you don't have to have them both running, you can choose what zone you want to have on. Uh, but then the wardrobe at the front, so first of all in the corner here, this is where the two extra chairs are for the dinette, and then it's prepped for washer-dryer. LED light in there. 
And then the nice big wardrobe, which you've got the sliding doors. We'll open everything up here. Lots of storage. Spots for hanging your clothes. Racks up above. LED light in there again. And then they, those do have latches so you can lock them into place so during transit it's not going to crash and bang and smash on you. You can see you got the nice door to separate your live your bedroom from your living area and then it's mirrored front on there. So again, this is the 2018 Columbus. Again, this is in the Compass series, the 378 MB, which stands for middle bunk. So we now have this unit in stock at Camp RV in Stratford. Now my name is Jonathan Allum. Thanks for watching our video. Come on in at any time and myself or one of the other uh, product specialists here would love to show you through this unit. We do have quite a few Columbuses in stock. We always have them on order. You can check out all of our available inventory on our website, which is campoutrv.com, or stop in and see us at any time. Uh, and check us out. We got a great YouTube channel. We got social media, Facebook, Instagram, you name it. You can follow us on it. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.